Hi guys, so I'm sorry I've not done a gloss tube for a couple of weeks. Um, life's just kind of got in the way and here is where I am currently. I am waiting at A&E, Accident and Emergency, which has clearly got some works going on. And it's quite busy here because Robin is inside having embedded a chisel in his finger. Um, deep enough for him to say, I think it needs to be seen. So, because I was going to do my floss tube when I got in from work and now I am here, I am going to do my floss tube here. So hi guys, for proper. Um, I can't show you very much because I have got only one project with me, which I will show you, but I will insert a lot of pictures, which I think is going to be the way I'm going to do this because I was going to go straight home and do a floss tube. So hi guys and... I'm so sorry it's been two weeks. Honestly, I've been so very, very busy. It's been absolutely manic. I'm just going to take my... I don't need them on unless I'm driving or tired, which is pretty much... Look at me. I'm so tired pretty much all the time. Um, so welcome to my car. I'm currently parked at Cumberland Royal Infirmary, which is our local hospital, um, which is a about 25 miles from our house and Robin as I said is in A&E he has done an absolute number on his um, left digit with a chisel he sent me a photograph while I was at work I've just come from work hence being covered in printing ink um, sent me a picture with his finger cut there to about there so what's happened is he was chiseling and obviously slipped with a very very sharp chisel and it has gone into his finger and stopped on the bone we think the bone has stopped him taking the entire piece off so he was like oh it stopped bleeding i'll be fine and i'm like um no will you get in the car please and at least drive to work so he met me halfway where i work and then he got in this car and i've driven him through twainy it's a chock -a block in there he says there's at least 16 people in the car in the waiting room with him so um, I might be here for a while. Luckily, there's a lady in the car next to me. <laughs> Luckily, I have with me the Pilgrim and I found my page five. So I am so close to finishing page five. All I've got to finish on page five is this bit here. And I have my Mrs. Sada Starling Silk with me, which is not on one of my groovy floss drops. It's still on a hair bobble. A hair elastic but I do have page seven of the pattern of which I have only done this much and I also have page eight of the pattern of which I've only done that much so if I'm here for the rest of the day I have got pattern I have got floss I have got my work there it is there's my pilgrim and for once you can actually see it in pure daylight because I'm in the daylight outside in natural light and yeah what a couple of weeks I've had oh there's people going into A&E every two seconds it is busy as mm. but it is what it is I suppose oh and there's a fire engine going in hang on there is a huge fire engine which has just pulled up and I'm wondering why. Oh my god, here is a second fire engine. What the hell is going on here? So, clearly we have some sort of incident occurring. I've got three little nurses who are behind that bollard who are now talking to two enormous fire engines that have pulled up. And lots of firemen, and lots of nurses who look all giggly. We've got something going on here. Okay, I'm just going to keep the camera pointing there. I wonder what's happened. The fire alarm must have gone off or something to have summoned them. Let's watch some firemen for a minute. Um, so it's been a hell of a couple of weeks. I've been working every day and it, you know, as I keep saying over and over, it makes me ever so tired. I've done very little stitching, certainly not last week, but the week before. Just after I did my floss tube that week, that week that followed there. I was so tired I barely did any stitching at all. Um, I wonder what's happening. And 
it was hard, you know, because I wanted to record, but I really honestly, and when I say I've not done much stitching and you think, yeah, yeah, you pump out stitches. I literally, one day I did nine stitches. I just couldn't, I just was just too tired when I got in to actually do anything at all. So there really wasn't a lot to show. So, yeah. So then this week's happened and I've actually got some stitching done this week. And then, of course, some new long dogs got released. So there was that. And I'm going to stop here and turn back round. So on Friday last week, Jules released a new long dog and it's pointed fifth or something it's called. It's wonderful. It's based, it's architectural. It's based on um, the rule of five on which is how cathedrals and large churches are made with the, with the five pillars. And the, and the arches and there's hundreds of little animals and critters and I and it's funny now I've done I'm, I'm doing so many I've I'm done I've doing so many long dogs that I recognize the, the the little guys all the time it's like there's a little cat reaching up who's in the new normal and I recognize them because you see them over and over so that's kind of cool um, and I didn't immediately buy it I put it in my basket right enough, but I didn't immediately buy it. And then I didn't buy it until I think Sunday. I went, yes, I want to stitch it. Um, so I bought that and I also bought another one. I'm just going to see if I can make it a little bit bright. I just could make it brighter before. I'm just poking at my phone. Sorry. Um, I bought another one, which is spelt beautifully, which I'm going to put along here because it took me a very long time. To work out that phonetically it is spelt birdies it's just called birdies of course it's birdies so um and i thought oh i'll start that in the meanwhile and uh, it's huge and i haven't started it either so <clears throat> i will insert a picture of the new the new one which i think a lot of people will already have seen i'm going to pop that in here And my plan for that is to, I'm going to get a, I've, I'm getting a big piece of white opalescent 32 count Laguna. Now that's white Laguna with the, um, the mermaid, uh, not the mermaid, the unicorn opalescent. It's the, it's the colour, it's not the silver, it's like the, the sparkle, the, like the, like the unicorn vomit sparkle anyway that's what I'm getting but I think I'm going to ever so slightly dye it pink I don't quite want it harsh white I want it ever so slightly blush pink but with the sparkle so that's my plan and then what I'm going to do is everything that's not in one of the archways I'm going to do in an ombre of a colour palette I went to Hobbycraft with Lizzie on Monday. It's so busy and I have a lady in the car next to me who's now glancing at me because I'm clearly talking and I don't care. <laughs> I just roll down my window and go, hey, watch Floss Tube and you'll see why I'm being nutty. Um, anyway, so I bought, right, I've bought a colour palette and I wanted jewel tones, quite nice bright jewel tones. So I've already taken a picture of them laid out neatly in the order that I like them. So I'm going to insert that picture here. And I've upped the brightness. So the contrast with the car next to me there, which is black, actually that's a black car next to me there, but now the contrast is a bit better in here. So that's my colour palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start at the top and I've worked it out. It's 16 rows plain colour and then I'm going to do three rows where I blend one stitch of the colour I've used and one stitch of the colour I'm going to. So there'll be three rows there and then the next, then I'll merge into the next colour. So all of that will be, will be um, the colour ombreing through my dual tones and then anything that's in, that is within the, the little, the little archways, I've got, um, it's not it's it's a navy blue but it's not the darkest navy blue it's it's one of the ones that the etoile oh now two ambulances are rocking up it's a busy day here 
And all Robin's done is chop his finger. Crikey. There's an ambulance reversing. Vehicle reversing. Can you hear it? It shouts out loud at people. Oh no, that's two ambulances. Right, the firemen are going in to the building. So I've got two fire engines and two ambulances here. This is very exciting. I don't have this much excitement in my life. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Robin's going to be these are emergencies coming in. Robin's going to be waiting even longer. But I've got my stitching and I'm doing my floss tube, so at least I'm doing something productive. And I'm just ignoring the fact that the lady in the car next door is glancing at me, but I don't mind. Um, yeah, so and I, I bought the Etoile, it's uh navy blue. I will put the number, it might be 939. I'm going to put the number here that I've got in the in the navy blue Etoile. This is going to be an editing fun job, isn't it? Later on, um, and I'm going to do all the little things in the alcoves in that and some bits that look like they should be i'll do that as well so we'll have we'll, we'll, we'll do that oh little girlie's coming out in her little red oh she's probably five or six years old and she's in plaster right up her elbow so she's had a nasty fall at school oh dear um anyway um yeah so I'm, that's what i'm gonna do so when my big piece of um laguna comes i've ordered it from lakeside needlecraft and I also got some of these, the, the R&R &R craft frames, um, the things that clip on there, those things. I've ordered two packs of four of, oh, I've got printing ink all up my hand as well. You probably can't see there. That's going to be Robin. I'll have a, I'll have a look next time I insert a picture. Um, so I've ordered two packs of those so I can make my own Q-snaps because as I've said before I have got stacks of pipe and I've got stacks of corners and homemade corners and pipe it works really super well. I just put a little a little piece of micro pore you know the surgical tape it just gives it a bit of grip it's very thin and gives you just a little bit of grip so that you when you click it together it doesn't it doesn't constantly twist. Um, I might just glue them together but I'm going to try and get like an 11 by a big a slightly bigger one and a slightly a slightly like rectangular one bit smaller so i'm gonna make i'm gonna make myself two for the price of like three pounds so it just took me over the 30 and you now get free shipping with lakeside if you spend more than 30 pounds i think the fabric was 23 and it's a meter i think it's 70 by 110 so it's the full length and i've got a 70 centimeter cut because it needed to be something like 80 by 70 69 centimeters or something to fit to fit the new one on on a 32 count um so oh look my arm's disappearing that's weird look my arm is not that thin by the way it's just because i've turned the brightness right up. i could put that back down that looks really strange just gotta turn the brightness right up so that i'm not gloomy um because look if i sit here it looks really wrong it's because the brightness is all is all adjusted i'm gonna just move my camera a little bit more that away there that's better isn't it no now i'm far too bright um i tell you what i'm gonna just stop this here so i fussed on with my balance again now you can see that the car next door is black i'm now a bit darker again but never mind um, that was me message. Uh, it was Robin and I just had a couple of pings backwards and forwards. Um, he thinks it's hilarious that I'm recording my floss tube in the car, and um, he has been he's been triaged by the nurses, and he has been told to go back and wait for the doctors. So yes, I said either they're going to triage you, say, "Ugh, oh, you're fine, bugger off home and send you home," or they're going to want to see it and X-ray it, and probably either I should think he'll get super glued. They use a lot of super glue here to to glue up bad cuts. It's very effective and it means you don't have to go and have stitches taken out so uh yeah hopefully he's a nice quick in and out job because they've obviously got a lot on today there's a lot of the, the fire engine people have gone to the ambulance so i wonder if it's a fire engine person it seems a, a, a an odd use of resources though to bring two fire engines here i don't i have no idea anyway so that's that one now birdies um, I thought it was a, quite a small pattern. It's one of the beautiful Celtic knot patterns, which I absolutely love. And I've been wanting to do one of them for a while. 
and it must be one of the older patterns because it was one of the cheaper patterns and usually the cheaper patterns by cheap I mean it was about eight or nine pounds the new pattern was 22.50 which I went oh to but Jules totally deserves it because I adore her so you know there's some people I really don't mind spending you know the little bit of um, disposable income I have on and um, Jules at the Long Dog Samplers is one of them actually because she entertains me every day with um, it's going to be massively choppy I am sorry um, she entertains me every day with her Instagram posts she if you don't follow her she is I'll put it up here I think it's at Jules line um, she is pretty epic she puts up it's not just the, the beautiful photograph she puts up she's always got a little bit of a quip and if you ever comment she comments back and she's she's nuts I think I think she's nuts in a really super good way um I really enjoy following her so and I love her patterns so I'm always happy to to jump on the bandwagon and, and do another one so birdies right I had a beautiful piece of fabric I have a beautiful piece of fabric which is a fat eighth and it's 40 count and I thought yeah it's gonna fit beautifully and my color palette on it looks beautiful I will insert a picture unfortunately birdies is too big to fit on there on 40 count which I've got obviously I'll go over to but I do have a piece of 40 count it's a really it's a it's quite a nice linen it's not even weave it's not a it's um it's linen but it's not very slubby and it's just off white um so i'm going to try and dye that because that's a fat quarter that i got from casa Sanina at christmas with some christmas money um i'm going to uh try and dye that to that funny smoky blue purple color the same like a corn like a a muted cornflower blue color i'm going to try and dye that to look like that and i was going to go home and do that right now except I'm now here so I'm not going to do that today or well, I'm not going to do it right now because now I'm parked outside Ailey and will be for the foreseeable I, I probably think I'm going to be here a, a wee while yet so uh, yeah so uh, that's what I'll do and then I'll start birdies on that now I've incorporated a, a larger colour palette for that um, because I wanted more of a not not a rainbow as such but I've definitely put some oranges and yellows I wanted it to join into a loop so that I can go right round the border um, and have it join up which I'll have to count very carefully with um, so it's gone through um, I've gone through into some like custard yellow and then a pale yellow into a chartreuse green and then into uh, another green and then it laps onto the end of the jewel colours so I can go right the way around in the circle um, because I'm not using the called fours and I'm not just substituting in for the called fours that's going to take a little bit of thinking about so I'll have to think about that but I'm looking forward to doing that and getting going on that which I will do once I've dyed my fabric and uh, so that's my two planned starts I also in my tiny bit of haul so I bought the DMCs in Hobbycraft um, and I've already got most of the DMCs. I bought 3808 and I'm doing a whole long dog in 3808. But um, I wanted like new skeins so that I use, I, I've got the colours I need there and then. I'm not hunting for anything. Um, so I do, and Lizzie and I went through it. Now on Monday, I took a holiday day from my first job and because Lizzie had a pediatrician's appointment so this is the second time this week I've been at the hospital but hers was a booked in appointment she's hypermobile and it's mostly her spine that she's hypermobile in so I need to know if it's okay or what we need to do to strengthen her so she's less hypermobile if, as it were and the answer is going to be physiotherapy but she's going to have a spinal MRI and they took bloods to check that she doesn't have a connective tissue disorder because she's very bendy and she's got a problem with her jaw at the moment where her jaw dislocates itself and clicks back in but now it's very painful so we'll get referred on from there to get that sorted out too but that's a different department that's maxiofacial I think I don't know anyway we'll find out by and by so that's that was Lizzie so we had the full day off and because it was her birthday on Saturday um we went and did a little bit of shopping we got some dinner we had a, we had a good time so that was nice and we went to hobbycraft and i used 
um, Hobbycraft vouchers, the way Hobbycraft works, for every £50 you spend, they send, they give you a £2.50 voucher. So basically you get 5% back for every, for every time you spend in there. So I had three of I actually had five, but I used three of them. So I had £7.50 off my DMC and the rest of the rest of the money, I used my tip money, which I keep in a little baggie in my in my bag. So if I get any tip money at work, it just goes into my little baggie. And so I didn't actually pay for any of the DMC. I, I kind of did, but you know, tip money isn't wages and my Hobbycraft vouchers are a thank you very much for shopping in Hobbycraft all the time. So that was kind of nice. But last week I did buy, a, oh, here come all the fire people. They're taking somebody in out of the ambulance and now all the fire people are I think the fire engines have followed the ambulance in there's been an incident and it's one of their own that's that's what I'm surmising here because all the fire crew of which there are two four six seven of them there are all now going back towards their fire engines after the person has been taken out of the back of the ambulance and into a &E. so that's cool that's very interesting. I wonder what's going on. We'll never know. We'll never find out. Nothing. You can never find out anything. Anyway, um, so last week I went to Hobbycraft and bought a bought a pre-cut of Zweigart Laguna to which to start my Amy Stewart on. That's 25 count. Um, I could insert a picture, but it's a piece of white Laguna in a in a packet. So I will start because I am going to start my Amy Stewart before my birthday for definite. Um, other than that, I have been working on the key. I did I did put in still put in quite a bit of work on the key. I believe I'm at um, a little over 28% on it now and the piece I was working on I kept on at and I've not completely filled it in by any means but I've, I've filled in quite a lot I will insert a picture here I will take a picture when I get home before I edit this up and I will insert a picture here of where I've got to and again because that's on 25 uh, because that's on 14 count ADA it's easy peasy stitching so if I'm tired I've I've been working on the things that's easy to stitch on when I'm really tired so the key is perfect it's full coverage it's pick a color and every time I pick a color there's 100 200 you know it's always a good number of stitches in that color in that area that I'm working on so it's always it's always I can I can chunk out quite a few stitches quite quickly the other one I've been working on is the snow wizard now I did need two DMC I had another little uh, another little gap where I was missing four stitches so it was two colors I had need I couldn't I might possibly have them but they weren't in my master set so um I picked those up when I was in hobbycraft and another 820 I am getting close to being at the end of the the big 820 background the background's going to change i think it's going to change to 796 possibly or 797 apart uh, from at 820 you know for the bulk of the background so the background's going to get lighter as it goes down so i'm just getting close to the point where it changes color so i will insert a picture of where i am i did put a picture up on instagram of where i am on my snow wizard So again, that's on 14 count, so it's easy stitching. It's it's filling in the bits of the tree branches, the bits of the dragon, and then it's just all the same colour at the back. So that's easy to do. So that's what I've been focusing on. You know, if I've got if I'm if I'm tired and I've got half an hour, I can I can put in some stitches nice and quickly. And then when the long dogs got released, I really 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 wanted to stitch on my lo uh, start a new long dog, and I thought. Well, I'm in process. I'm waiting on fabric. I was waiting on buying the floss and then I was waiting on the fabric and then I was going to start birdies. And then I realised that I could start it on the cream. I've also got a piece of um, vintage country mocha, which is big enough, but it's not quite the tone I want. I want to go the smoky, the smoky um, periwink, uh, cornflower blue colour. So instead... I pulled out my Pilgrim, which is my first and the one I'm the one that I'm currently working on, the one I've got most done of. 
and then I found my page five of my pattern which was missing now I've missed page now I've kind of lost page six of the pattern so uh oh there's people just just leaving here well, there's a whole pile of people having a conversation right outside my car so I'm gonna oh fuck it I don't care here we are look so what I've done is I've picked up here and I've put in all of this was all I was up to I got to here I hadn't done the insides of that so I've done the insides of that now and I've done all of this and that is the end of page five that's the changeover so there's just like a, a Quaker snowflake here a half a Quaker snowflake so I've just got that and that's page five finished and then as you can see all I've done of page six is this bit that bit there you can see where the page mark I've kind of gone to the page marks but if I get that done while I'm sitting here after I've finished recording this, I'll come over. That was my needle minder ponging. I wonder why my needle minder is ponged too. But then I can come over here and pick up this bunny on the other side and I can finish. I can work on this bit because I have this page with me today. So I can work on that bit now. So there I am on my pilgrim and I'm having good fun. I was wondering if it was a good needle minder that one. So while I'm recording, I'm just going to look around in the car. It'll have, it will be stuck to something, won't it? It'll emerge eventually. Yeah, it'll emerge eventually. Right. I think that's exactly what's happened. I think one of the, one of the fire brigade people's been hurt, and they've come out. The doctor's now going to talk to the fire engine, and they've come in with them. They've kind of escorted them in. Oh dear. Hopefully everybody's okay. They obviously haven't had another shout in the meanwhile, have they? Or they'd have been, they'd have been called out. Anyway, the fire engines are going to drive past any second. They're just turning themselves. So, uh, yeah. So my pilgrim, I'm enjoying, and I'm enjoying it enough to keep at it now for a couple of days, a couple more days. So I'm, I'm going to have a good chunk of progress on this. I really do want this one done. It is my long dog leap day sell project but I think I want it done faster than four years and we're a we're a year and a half into the four years now and I think I, I think I want it more done than not if you see what I mean okay so that's what I've been working on oh and I had I had another new start I started my Barbara Anna seasons girls and I've only done a tiny start like a tiny start and I'm not 100% sure, oh god my arm is so covered in printing ink, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use the fabric because I think it's 28 count and I'm thinking I might want to do four and frame them in little ovals so I'm going to just reserve my judgment. I'm not going to do any more stitching. I will put a picture in of where I am, but that's on the kit fabric. So that's on the kit fabric and it's a tiny little start, but I think I might restart and stitch them individually so that I can hang them in hoops. Either circular hoops or oval hoops, depending on how they look when they finish if they're going to fit in a circle I'll put them in circular hoops and I'll finish them in hoops but I'm just thinking I don't want them all in a strip so I started it and now I'm thinking maybe not so here we go um so other than that hi guys so I'm back this is post tea time me we are home I'll, I'll update you at the end. I realised that I've completely forgotten to show you two of the pieces I've been working on this week. I And I'll just quickly rattle on now because I know the light's really bad here, but there's nothing I can do. It's pouring with rain outside and it's gloomy as. And what's left of my ring light is downstairs and I can't be bothered going down to get it. So I picked up my Carolyn Manning Design Shooting Star. There we are, put that in front of my face. It's much better. And I've put in a little bit of work on here, mostly in the pinks here. I put in the pinks in the backgrounds of these. You can see I've just got this bit and that bit to go. And then that's that pink all done. And I put in the purple. That's the very, very middle. So I did some of the purple down here. And I filled in these little purple bits here. 
so not very much progress but I definitely picked it up this is on 20 count one strand of all the cord for DMC on 20 count easy grid and I absolutely really rate this pattern this one I want to get on with because it's wonderful so I worked on that and I've also worked on my Emma Congdon live gently and I have very nearly that's the page break because I only had the one page with me when I when I had it out and I had it, I was at my mum's for Austin's birthday. So I I had it out and uh, I saw so I actually just worked the bottom of the page. So that's the bottom of the top of the first page. And I've just got the corners of that. So that's where I am on that one. That's on 18 count with the silver sparkle, Ada. That's all the called for colours. And it's uh, I've got the lid gently in. And it's all finished apart from this bit. That little bit there and then obviously the second the second page so those are the two pieces i forgot to show you and we're going to go back now to where we were in the video before um life has happened both i've had two austin turned nine and lizzie turned 15 they're nine days apart so we basically ricochet from austin's birthday to lizzie's birthday and it's busy and it's a bit blurry. So that was really that two weeks period that I've missed here. Um, I need you to let me know whether you'd like an update every week, even if I haven't got a lot of progress to show. Whether you'd like to see me every week or whether you'd rather wait for progress. So in the comments, if you can put weekly or progress then I'll just tot up and if you want if you want something weekly I'll do something weekly it might not be showing a lot of progress but it might just be a bit of chatter to stitch to if you see what I mean it might not be it might it might well, probably won't be even be a stitch with me it'll be a and now it's raining <laughs> hi I'm having a day um yes now it's raining on the car so I'm sorry if you can hear the pitter pit patter but it's raining okay We've had it. We've had it really been really, really warm. It's been very warm and now it's it's not um, now it's raining. Um, so let me know whether weekly or progress and I'll either do and put up something weekly or I'll wait until I've got progress to show and then show you a load of progress. Um, I thought for next week what I will do, I'm going to do a mid year whip parade because I need to make some fairly stern decisions on the pieces I'm going to keep out this year. I've already put a whole pile away but what I want to do is get everything out so I can see what I've got going on because I've got bits of cross stitch everywhere. I've got everything from the most massive haid to tiny little smalls in progress everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film a mid-year whip parade for next for my next video and then I'm going to make some very clear decisions on what I'm going to keep out to work on this year and what I'm going to say I'll see you later I'm not going to worry about you I'm not going to feel stressed about you you're a lovely piece of stitching I want to get you finished but I don't want to be thinking about you right now so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have the bits I want to work on sort of for the second half of the year. Pilgrim, I will keep out. I will be working on. Um, Castles in the Air, I will put away. I will not be working on. Um, probably two or three of my other long dogs will stay out, probably including both of my new starts, which I haven't started yet, but I will probably have started as soon as the fabric comes. So we'll... We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, so there's that. So that's what I'm going to do next time. And that's that's basically my update there for you guys. Now, the Etsy shop. The Etsy shop reopened about Tuesday. It opened this time last week. Thank you so much to everybody that's placed an order. I have had upwards of 40 orders and I am 
over the moon honestly i can't tell you how how it really it's really buoying that people want to support us and buy our things now there's there's a couple of sorry i've got such an itchy nose i've got the, i've got the floss tube itchy nose it must be a sitting in my car thing um uh, yeah thank you so much everything that's been ordered is getting packaged and will be posted i've already posted a third of it um the second third was going to get packaged up this afternoon while i was processing my video so obviously this afternoon's gone screwy and i work a long shift tomorrow so i'll try and get a load packaged up tonight and i can go out early tomorrow and post them before i go go to work so i'll try and get another third of it posted tomorrow and then that leaves me the outstanding third to post on friday so if you have ordered something from me it's not that it's not made it's not yeah, everything is there waiting it just needs to be packaged up nicely addressed and put into the post so i'm in process please bear with me the same for any giveaway anyone who's won a giveaway from me from my thousands and subscriber please bear with me i am getting there honestly life has just been i'm either in my car driving to work i am at work or i am driving home from work or i am trying to sleep there isn't there isn't much else at the moment for me and it's it's not making me sad it's not depressing me it's just an endless grind at the moment um I've got, a I've got a fairly large decision to make very shortly as to how I'm going to organise my working life going forwards. So I'll obviously keep you up to date with that when that happens and I make a big decision. Um, I'm 90% there. I'm 90% there. All I know is right now with working every single day, I'm too tired. I'm too tired to do the things I want to do. I'm too tired to stitch. I spend my time at work hope, wanting to go home to stitch. I get home and I'm too tired to stitch. Um, so, yeah, something, something's going to give quite soon. And it's going to be okay and I'll be fine. And I've, I'm lucky to have options and choices available to me at the moment. So I'm going to be making some choices very shortly, which I will keep you abreast with. And other than that, we have got some new bits and bobs going into the Etsy shop. They are all at home. I will show you our plans when I get home. Um, so Etsy things, we realised pretty quickly that the big spools were very, very heavy. Were very, very heavy to post. And they could only go as a small parcel, which makes it expensive to post internationally so although we have sold quite a lot of our big spools they've all gone to the UK so we've come up with a plan and that is to hollow them out which not only makes them very light but it also makes them very useful because then it's like me you have an old mug by the side of your bed full of crap you can put a finished, you can put your finished piece of cross stitch around it and all your assorted crap in it. Useful. A useful tool and we're aiming to make them about half the weight. And because we sold the spools we did sell, Rob, I can afford to get Robin two proper very fine hollowing tools so that he can do this very neatly on the lathe. And have a beautiful finish on it so they'll be useful for your cross stitch piece with a purpose and if it's a very dense wood i mean this one here is quite a light wood so this isn't terribly heavy but for heavy ones for the heavier woods he'll hollow it out so that you've got a like a pen pot or a scissor jar or something and he'll also take the he'll take the weight out of that end as well so that it's not just a see straight through it's actually going to be a useful item but he'll take as much of the weight out of it as you can so that we can post them much cheaper but you can't squash it down it is what it is it's a solid lump but we can make them as light as we can which will help so here's prototype number two for a useful spool so the spool you can see you can put your cross stitch around there and then it has a lid which again, and this one, um, what, what does everybody know? Standard Sharpie. So you can see that's much deeper. That's almost full depth. So this weighs almost nothing. And then you've got this kooky lid, 
which could equally be a little oat pot, a little oat jar. But of course it fits because it's cut from the same. You've just got to line up, line up your pattern. And it's very light because it's hollow. So it's that's much lighter than this, even though this is bigger. That's much lighter because it's more hollow. So we're working on it. We're going to try and get the postage down as much as we can. But obviously we can't sell them and post them for nothing because then we're just we're just giving them away. And, you know, to turn something like this, there's a fair amount of skill and that takes a fair amount of time. But as you can see, we're working on plans to make the posters lighter and to make useful items. You know, yes, it's a display item. And it'll have a lovely piece of, it'll have a lovely blackbird around it or something, you know, but equally useful. I don't know, we're thinking about it. So we're, we're working on the spools, just, just to let you know. Hmm. What I would like help with is Robin has made a couple of laying tools. Now, I don't use laying tools. I'm not too sure how to use them. If you use a laying tool, and I'm going to say and you're in the UK, could you drop me a line? And just the last bit. This is what I was saying about the laying tool. So he's made these little laying tools. He's got one here. This is mahogany. And if you're in the UK, just so I can get feedback faster because it'll post too much quicker and you use a laying tool, please, if you know how to use them and you use them regularly and you'd like to try out our laying tool, um, please just drop me a line and we'll, I'll post this to you, which you can keep. But if you could give me like an honest review, because I don't know whether this is too, I don't know whether this profile is a good profile or whether it needs to be slimmer here because Robin does things to, so that they fit neatly in your hand. But because I don't use a laying tool, I don't know quite where you hold it. So there's this, if anybody wants to, uh, if it's in the UK that genuinely uses a laying tool, drop me a wee line, yeah? So there's that. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching the end of my, oh, here comes a third ambulance. Um, and if you use a laying tool, and you're in the UK, can you drop me a line? Because I'd like some feedback on whether they're the right size and shape. But I will do when I get home. I'll film a little a little clip, which I'll insert at the end of this just to show you. Um, other than that, I haven't yet made the project bag, which is the giveaway from the last video. Bear with me. I will do. I might make two now. There'll be something up. So, um Anyone who either says weekly or says progress will be entered for a dip for something for the, from this video to be determined. Okay. Oh, what a time. What a time I'm having. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this weird rambly insert a picture here, insert a picture there, because I'm in my car with one project. But right now... I'm going to do some stitching and I will catch you really soon. This will have extra stuff spliced in here and there, pictures in it, little clips, little video clips of, oh, I forgot to say this, I forgot to say that. So by the time you watch this, it will be cohesive and not the burble that I have just recorded. So, well, it'll still be me burbling. But So let me know if you'd like something weekly, regardless of what it is, or whether you just want to see progress on my stitching, in which case that's fine too. Honestly. I don't mind either way. I kind of like making videos. I've got used to it and I've, you, it's not so much you feel the pressure, but I've really noticed that I haven't put a video up last week and I'm like, I really want to. I don't want to slip and it be month, month and a half between my videos. I want to put them up more often, but I genuinely didn't think I had enough progress last week. So there's that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off again before my video shuts down again because I'm at the size limit, which means it's not record, it's not saving onto my SD card. It's saving onto my phone. So I have to go and twiddle with the settings. So I'm just going to get off now. When this goes up, it'll have pictures in it. It'll have words. It'll have stuff. But I will see you soon.
thank you for watching i'll see you soon and i'll update you on robin's finger at the end of this as well because obviously by the time i get home we'll know where we are with it i should think he'll have it glued back together but we will see and i will let you know about that later on crikey we've been here an hour already bye bye for now guys bye me me sitting in the car park not me talking to you i don't think that's quite an hour long yet i'll catch you soon okay my last little extra add-on bit is an update before my battery dies is a little update robin is fine they x-rayed his finger and it's basically cut i'll just get my sharpie pen back out i'll draw a picture on my finger there he's basically cut through front to back that bit to the bone so that bit is and this bit here this bit's this side's fine the chisel hit the bone and stopped so ick sorry for too much information but he's fine they've x-rayed it it's not taken a big chunk out of the bone the chisel just stopped him you can see he was doing that and it went in so he has got a funny little plastic finger holder on to stop him bending it stop him bending this joint here because obviously as soon as he bends that joint it's going to open it and it's going to make a big mess so they didn't glue it they just put some steri strips on it because he's he heals so quickly that it's already basically starting to mesh together but the lady did open it up and clean it out and used no anesthetic and he's grumbling because when I took the chop saw to my thumb, they gave me an anaesthetic injection, but mine was messy. Mine was a piece that was missing. His is a clean, a very clean with a very sharp tool cut. Think chef, think big chef cutting with big knife. It's that kind of injury rather than the chop saw. Oh dear, there's a piece of my thumb. A wall. So he didn't get anaesthetic, but he was a big boy. He's had a tetanus booster, booster shot because it's been over 10 years since he's had a tetanus shot. So he's had that and we got a drive through McDonald's for tea. And then I popped into Marks and Spencer's and got us a, got us a cake for her pastry to make us feel better. Yeah. So that's us. That's Flora. Oh, so, um, yeah, we went to my mum's I got her some flowers in Moxie's as well just to say thank you because it's not very often we need them to we do an SOS please can you pick up the kids from school we've got a disaster on our hands so we picked the kids up came home and that's us home and I'm now just trying to collate my video together so that you can see and then I realized I'd missed off two projects and yeah so rest of my night as this process is I'm going to be packaging up parcels for Etsy thanks for watching guys I'll catch you soon bye bye Rick, the window's open. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, look, he's got his little claws digging in. I, I don't know how to get over there to rescue him. Hang on, hang on. I've got Rick.